tomorrow is my mother's 91st birthday. So I, and you know, my mother is a very remarkable woman because um, see, when you're a child and you say, I want to do this and I want to do that, many parents will say, oh no, oh no, you, you can't do that yet, you do your own work. So I told my mother I wanted to be a great poet. And my mother didn't say do your homework. She said, here, I'll give me your poems and I'll take them to the office and I'll type them up on the, my, on the brand new IBM typewriter and read them. Um, when my mother, I said to my mother, I was about nine years old, I said, I want to write an opera. She said, oh, don't be, he didn't say, oh, don't be silly. She said, um, here, there's no music paper in Thailand. So we'll draw some music paper on a stencil, Gestetten stencils, and I'll take it to the office and print out music paper for you to write this up for. So, so my mother has always been there for me every time I wanted to do something that people shouldn't really do. She's always been the one who believed that I could do it. And um, my mother's favorite movie, which is also something that changed my life, because when I was when I was very little. Um, uh, and my parents were students in England, and um, they, they were, you know, poor students, and uh, my dad was not an ambassador at that time, or, uh, so, so it was the, and, and so um, they couldn't afford a babysitter, so when they went to the movies, you know, I was always there, right? So that's why I managed, managed to see Psycho eight times <laughs> when I was a child, so and this has made me who I am today. So, um, I was going to just play a little bit of the shower scene. <laughs> uh,